All right, guys, welcome to my fifth segment of today's videos. We're going to be covering the specialist column, uh, minus Sylvanas, because Sylvanas has a lot of changes I want to go over in her own separate video. So let's jump right into it. Abathur, Ultimate Evolution, will now inherit Kerazim's trait. Whoa! I guess that should have been a thing to begin with, um, because Transcendence is freaking huge. And now I'll give an incentive for... And but they're to kind of have more flexible options as far as team fights. If the team needs more team needs more healing, um, and they have a Karazim, she can um, or he can pretty much clone the Karazim and dish out some pretty good damage and heal at the same time. So that's pretty nice. Or if the Kar the Karazim goes um, Iron Fist or damage, whatever it is, pretty nice. As far as Asmodan, my boy Asmodan, um, Globe of Annihilation, Taste for Blood, Duration in which enemy deaths will permanently add global annihilation damage increased from 1 second to 1.5 seconds. This is a huge buff. That pretty much means you don't have the last hit with global annihilation anymore. You can just have someone, you can use abilities, pretty much, you can just throw it on and someone can just finish it for you. Because that's 1.5 seconds, that's, that's longer than any cast time out there for, as far as the basic abilities in people's and heroes kits. So that's pretty insane. <clears throat> oh, Gazel, I forgot he received significant changes. So I'm going to save that for another video, actually. Uh, Murky, block talent, uh, renamed to Fish Tank. Fish Tank provides two block charges. Each charge uh, reduces damage taken by incoming base attacks by 50%. So they didn't give Murky the 75% um, block buff that they gave to every other hero. Which is pretty reasonable because that would be make Murky pretty hard to kill, and just make him nobody would want to attack him because he's just blocking attacks like crazy. Uh, March of Murlocs. They gave a little bit of buff. I don't know how good of a buff this is gonna be. Twenty five percent or twenty five damage up from nineteen. Um, still can't pass up um, Octo Grab because that thing's like the best salt in the game as far as lockdown. Uh, Nazebo, Gargantuan, basic attack damage increased by about 50. Pretty insane. Uh, no longer deals bonus damage to minion structures. I don't know how I feel about that, because pretty much it was it was be it would be used for like an objective clear, or kind of another six man on the objective, kind of like a, like for instance in Farm Shrines, or it's used to push lanes. Now it's just dealing more damage to enemy heroes, and you still can't control it. Um. Mm, I'm not sure about that. And Lost Vikings. Time between uh, block stacks reduced from eight seconds to five seconds. So that's pretty nice for Olaf, make him more a little bit more tanky. Uh, Zul attack speed slow and only affects heroes and summons. So yeah, so much for affecting structures and minions and mercenary camps. So I don't know. Zul's getting more uh, more nerfs. Um, and the Lady of the Hour, Zagara, Nidus Worm buff. Um, while inside Nidus Worm, health and mana are now restored at an equal rate as the Hall of the Storm, so pretty much the well back at there. Um, Nidus Worm can now be casted while inside another Nidus Worm. Um, Zagara, Zagara will now, or sorry, Zagara now exits Nidus Worm instantly. And also exits by right clicking on the map. So that's pretty nice. So that pretty much is like... Um, think of it as like a safe cocoon uh, if you're running away or a quick regeneration um, just hop in an Ines network to kind of save your life regenerate and like either you're going to be pushing more this is actually going to be insane on large maps um, I'm going to see a lot of Zilgars more going like demolitionist or like battle momentum freaking just push talents going to be crazy even like a Q build possibly by Zagara. Um, so yeah, a lot of changes to this special section. I really like it. It's going to have a lot of more flavor to the game. Um, next video, uh, for the sixth video, I'm going to be covering Gazlo. And then for the seventh video, I'm going to be covering, um, Sylvanas. And then for the last, for my eighth video, I'm just going to release another video, um, for tomorrow. I'm going to be covering all the supports. So yeah, stay tuned, and I'll be right back.